SDS Erron Coney de Inacapears.com. Otro video para ti. Oi. Oh. Sour face. Another video. Help. Tip. Video. This one deals with a printer. Not my favorite. Here we go. Let me read verbatim. This one was so lengthy that I didn't even... Nah, I don't script my videos. No, I don't. But to make these videos go smoother, sometimes I just open up a notepad and put some text in from the original submission, but nah, not this one. Okay, let's see. Where shall we start from the top? And I'm going to get distracted because I can't... I'm not making this shit up. Literally, as I hit the record button or about 30 seconds before I went to start recording this video guess what interruptions from the ho people in this hotel I don't know what it is with the timing the window says there is no paper in the rear tray Check the following, then load paper and select OK. I don't want to use the rear tray. I want to print from the letter tray. What should I do? I almost never, keyword almost never support printer hardware because I hate it and it can be a big waste of time, especially the printer error codes that are very prevalent. I must have been desperate this day to earn income and otherwise, <laughs> no. All right, so printer, it's a Canon Pixma TR8520. They changed the paper and then all of a sudden they received that message. Yeah, inkjet printers are trash. They're just garbage. It doesn't matter the brand, the model, the price, just tr trash. Here's a tip, if you can afford it, purchase a used laser jet. Well, if you can afford a brand new laser jet, well, I don't, recommend or give out advice because I would never buy anything brand new I very rarely buy anything brand new if I did it would only be for the warranty if you and I'm getting distracted so just so you know and I'm documenting the distractions on this video that I'm recording that I'm uploading to YouTube and my YouTube audience will know that I'm getting distracted if you can afford it get a laser jet. If you can't afford a brand new one, get a used. You might be able to get a decent one for two or three hundred dollars. Study it. Find out which one the model, the brand, the manufacturer has the least amount of problems. I would never waste any money on inkjet printers. They're just they're trash for many reasons. Okay, so they change the paper and then all of a sudden that error. Alright, they claimed that it was working fine and then printing from the letter tray until they changed the paper. Some printers have different trays. I just noticed the internet dropped it, doesn't matter because I don't need the internet for this video. There, Some printers have, well it depends on, some have two trays, some have only one tray, some have three. Depends on how large they are. Sometimes they have a rear tray, they have a front tray and what's known as a letter tray hence the term letter letter trays allow you to print larger sometimes larger paper and also envelopes you can print on envelopes you can print on smaller like four by six cards and blah 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 ad nauseum and infinitum they were using a macbook air and i don't think they told me what exact operating system so I don't know exactly what I don't know if it was elk elk here we go here we go right on time a distraction right there on cue I have no idea if they had El Capitan Sierra High Sierra Mojave I have no idea in this instance it didn't matter but a lot of times it does and I'm not going to digress why this one was primarily just 
a hardware issue. Okay. Now, print, printer properties both on, on, but let's just stick to Macintosh. Macintosh printers, if you install them correctly with a full driver and suite of software, they'll have properties. You go into printers and scanners via, what is it, system properties on a Macintosh, and if you go in through the properties, they, they can get very convoluted and complex. You can change the type of paper, you can select the type of paper, you can select the tray if it has multi trays, and blah, 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 blah. Well, here's a tip. Some printers also have convoluted and complex settings on the printer itself. You can physically go to the printer via the LCD display and click on the menu and fuck around with the buttons. And you might be able to change the tray. You might be able to change the type of paper. And it goes on and on and on and on. Now, with some printers, and I think it was the case with this one, if you if you select the a different tray, if the trays are not the same on the Macintosh properties for the printer compared to the properties for the the physical printer, it'll it'll cause errors. It won't print. Just I'm not a metrosexual, but you know those goddamn fucking commercials, Calgon, take me away. Take me far away from America, capitalism, government, military. Just take me away from these goddamn fucking printers. Okay. Now, when they, they were able to get to printers and scanners, but it said that the paper was low. But they had just replaced the paper. In the in the letter cassette. Yeah. You should be able to select which trade to print from. Here's another tip. Sometimes it's grayed out. Try to restart the printer, try to restart the computer, and you may have to reinstall the software. Look for feed from under media and quality. The link below shows you how to choose which tray. Select the exact tray from the drop down list instead of auto select. So I will include a link and I just got distracted again. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these people in this hotel. Just, I think they're all crack addicts is what I've concluded. They're all fucking meth addicts because they're just back and forth, back and forth. I don't know. What, and then. It, it's almost always at the exact time I'm recording a video. I'm not making that shit up. I'm not. I even went to two grocery stores all day long. Yeah, well, earlier it was really loud. Oh, you know what? I might. You might want to stick around for overtime. The the motherfucker behind me banged on my on my wall twice. The motherfucker banged into my wall in my hotel room twice this morning and woke me up and I had to call and complain because it was the third time so you may be wondering why I'm getting angry because this is the shit that I've had to put up with in this hotel and amazingly enough I just came from a fucking dumpster fire hotel that was ten times worse Check out the link. Now, there also is a feature called Auto Select. Some printers have Auto Select. It will automatically select the tray to print from. It will detect whether or not the tray is empty. However, it doesn't always work. So sometimes you have to manually tell the printer what tray to print from because they, they get they're just flaky or the tray I'm even thinking the tray may malfunction the rollers and the sensors but I think and then also the auto select feature you can specify it on the printer physically 
or in the properties of the software that's installed on your Macintosh. So it kept telling them that it was out of paper even though the the tray was full. Now I think I could be wrong but I think some printer trays if they're expensive enough believe it or not they actually have like a computer chip on them like a sensor but and then also the rollers and the sensor might actually be somewhere where the paper gets fed but I haven't I haven't really taken apart that many printers being honest with you I never ever wanted to because I learned long ago I hated printer hardware decades ago it could it, it should sense that the, the, the tray is full or that the tray has paper so you know what I'm saying uh, sometimes I don't want to digress about other printer tips nah 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 so I gave them instructions click file menu then click on print select media and quality from pop-up menu select the feed source to use for your printer and then select the exact tray. I already went over that. I already went over that. Sometimes you have to manually select the tray, the, the exact one. Auto select just doesn't work. Or it's flaky, or I don't, just the scent, it just doesn't work. I'm thinking, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking auto select might be the sensor. If, if you manually select the, the paper tray it doesn't nah it doesn't try to do anything you're just telling the printer to print to that tray and don't do anything else don't don't you know try to sense if there's paper who cares if the you know they kept receiving the same message so I gave them the proverbial bowl power cycle Disconnect the printer cable from both the wall outlet and the printer if it's a detachable or if it's hardwired, you can't. Press and hold the power button on the printer for 30 to 60 seconds. You can leave it alone for 5 to 10 minutes. It's up to you. Reconnect USB cable, power cable, blah, 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 power back up and see if it clears that. Yes, yes. Printers are so flaky that sometimes it's a false positive and by you dispersing that electrostatic discharge you may clear that error but it's not now nah, it doesn't always work actually I don't know what the percentages are but whatever so now they got a different error after I gave them the instructions I just articulated now the error is the size or type of the paper loaded in the cassette is <laughs> the size or type of the paper loaded in the cassette is different from the print settings. Now they received support code twenty one ten. I I hate support codes. I hate printer support codes. If I'm desperate, I look them up and see if I can quickly. I'm not picking my nose. It's just, it, my nose itches. It might be the weather here. It's really dry. I love the weather. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining, but it's like dry as fuck. I mean, I thought Denver, Colorado, I thought Colorado was dry, but goddamn, man. You know what I'm saying? The uh, support code twenty one ten. Oh my god! But we but you see how when you power cycle it and try to disperse the electrostatic discharge. Oh well, you know here comes a different error. But it might have been the correct error because I think that's what was wrong. You have to you you can't how you can't choose one paper tray on the printer settings, but on the your Macintosh software settings you can't choose a different printer tray if they are not the same one they conflict and then you know <sighs> so
So I will include a, another link that shows you how to match the paper trays and size type. Here we go again. Here we go again. This is the fourth time now. Fourth time since I've been recording that somebody is going out that door. And I'm not making this shit up. About a minute before I went to record this video was when the first time somebody entered that door. You can't make that shit up. It was like, I just... All right. I'm not saying that somebody is intentionally fucking me up and distracting me, but you never know anymore. And then I all will, will include another link <laughs> for support code 2110, a potential fix. Now, finally, they got it to work. So they took out some of the paper so it wasn't full full. So they took so they it looks like they filled the tray to its rafters. Oh my god, that's the fifth time somebody has gone through this door since I recorded this video. They took all the paper out of the printer tray then they put some of it back but they did physically take it all out and then put it back in and then it started working so yeah there might be a sensor that my logic tells me that there might have been a sensor after all maybe if you put too much paper in a tray it fucks you know flags and causes problems and hey anything's possible so they finally got it working, and then guess what? A few days later, they messaged me back complaining, but they got a different error. There is no paper in the rear tray. <laughs> you see why I fucking hate printers? You see why I fucking despise inkjet printers, and I would love to see them all destroyed? Plus, they're terrible for the planet. Think about it. Printers are terrible for the planet. Just, I fucking hate inkjet printer hardware. Okay. So they received that error, and then they got a support code 1000. <laughs> Just, it's like dating a feminist, feminazi, American female. Fickle as fuck. And all of those F words were intentional by me. I never got around to it, but they fixed their problem. I don't know how they fixed it a second time. I get really busy during the day, and the last thing I want to do is fucking look up goddamn fucking printer hardware errors. And so... I might have been even looking at it at the same, by, but by the time they messaged me back, they had fixed it. So who knows what it was? It could have been they could have fucked around with the tray again. They might have double checked. That happens, you know. Double check your work. Make sure that the 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 paper tray that you select to print from on the printer itself in the printer settings matches the paper tray that you are selecting on the Macintosh printer property settings. They have to match. On on some printers, I don't know if it's all printers, it could be by the model, I don't know. But I have noticed that, that's a tip. And then also choosing the paper size too can fuck shit up if, if they're not, if they don't match. And yeah, it's just... This one I might have to write a blog post because, and I don't have a printer to demonstrate, and how the fuck am I going to re-engineer that, those errors? Anything further about printers in, the, in this situation? My, my golden tip, it could be fool's gold or real gold, but my golden tip is when in doubt, try that. Dis, disconnect all cables from the printer, including the USB cable, 
disconnect the power cable from the wall outlet and if it's the type of printer that has an AC adapter where the printer cable also is detachable from the adapter disconnect it there if it's hardwired obviously you cannot then press and hold the power button on the printer 30 seconds to a minute number six this is the sixth time somebody has gone through this door right out here during this video amazing isn't it I just I was obviously distracted now press and hold the power button 30 seconds to a minute to alleviate any possible electrostatic discharge I highly well I don't recommend anything I think you should leave the printer alone for a while some technicians say you should leave it setting for 30 minutes some say a minute mine is somewhere around five to ten minutes but if you're a prototypical American and you're gonna be watching dumb shit like the Game of Thrones which I've never watched and I never will go watch that garbage come back and that's enough there there could be a problem maybe with the printer overheating or you know by you letting it cool off and, and also alleviating any electrostatic discharge but allowing the printer to cool off the circuitry and all that maybe that's tri triggering some of these fucked up errors I just don't know <sighs> my job is to fix shit not to try to reverse engineer I don't have time to reverse engineer you know what I'm saying I don't want to reverse engineer pieces of shit inkjet printers a lot of times that can clear up errors or what it can do is it can kind of cause the printer to give out correct error messages or it, it can create a a snowball well I don't like that term a domino effect you know what I'm saying any other tips just whatever I said in the video make sure the everything I went over as far as paper trays they can be really re make sure they're installed properly you know what I'm saying when, when it comes to inkjet printers they're just so fucking flaky they are so fickle they're just fuck it's they're insane I mean it literally is like dating a feminist feminazi American female just fucking insane just one day the printer loves you and prints away and allows you to submit your TPS reports on time so your boss doesn't bend you over and sodomize you and fire you and th but then the very next day you didn't even touch the printer you didn't touch your computer you didn't power anything off you left everything alone and then all of a sudden the printer just starts or, or it's one little little change oh the the paper ran out you ran out of paper I think this is number seven maybe not you ran out of paper and then you added some paper into the tray and then all of a sudden the printer is just beep, 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 beep. you know beep codes and flashing red lights and you know with with you know messages mayday 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 you touch uh, mayday mayday rear tray is empty rear tray is empty and then you get all these goddamn fucking errors and it's like all I did was fucking give the goddamn printer what it wants some goddamn paper I'm done I hate printer hardware. I'm done. Now on to a little bit of overtime. I wish I could document it, but I, I, I will keep in mind. So no more talk about IT, information technology. The, another, another hotel. Now overall this hotel is a lot better than that other dumpster fire. It's ten times better, but at times it's, it's terrible. It just this motherfucker behind me has woken me up two or three times already two in the morning three in the morning and I think this morning was around 9 a.m. something like that and the motherfucker 
banged into my wall. Every time he's woken me up, I don't know if it's a he or she or a couple. I don't give a fuck who they are. They have slammed into my wall right behind you and me against that headboard and woken me up at least three times since I've been in this fucking hotel. Not only that, the motherfuckers or motherfucker, they're like moving furniture. It is so loud, they're banging around. It's like they're moving a refrigerator. It's like literally they're moving furniture, but they're dropping shit. And it's like as if they're, I can hear them fiddling around in be on the down below on the wall as if they're unplugging stuff and it's almost as if they're touching they're, they're scraping the walls like I can I can hear them move something and it sounds like it's scraping the, the wall and this has happened three times now and I almost let it slide this morning but they fucking hit my wall a second time and I said fuck no and I called and complained with the front desk but I don't know if that's gonna solve anything I told them if it happens again I'm not going to stay at this hotel again I'm not sure what I'm going to do if it happens again I might call the police I hate the I, I don't like the police. I hate the police. But you know what? That is dis, that is technically disturbing. What is it? It's disturbing the well, disturbing quiet or disturbing the public. Whatever. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if the police will actually intervene. Because get it. If I have to call the front desk again, well, you know what I'm saying? That means that these motherfuckers didn't take the first time serious. And chances are I'm just going to have to keep complaining. And I don't like to snitch on people. I let it slide three or four times that these motherfuckers in the room behind me, they're banging away and they slam doors. These motherfuckers in this hotel just slammed doors just like the other hotel that I just came from. But, you know, I put up with a lot of fucking shit. And I never snitched on anybody at that other hotel. Not once. And I haven't snitched on anybody at this hotel until today I had to. Because I will let things slide, but except, except when you fucking bang into the same wall that my room is attached to when you fucking wake me up at 9 a.m. Or it doesn't matter when you wake me up. They wake the, the, the three or four times. It was like two in the morning, four in the morning, nine in the morning. The two things that drive me nuts in a hotel the motherfuckers that have the audacity to bang up against your wall or, or whatever, bump into it, not once, multiple times. And motherfuckers that stand out in the hallway and they're loud. The, the hallway noise. You know? Ugh. <sighs> I don't know what I was ever thinking when I thought I could actually make a living out of a hotel. I don't know what the fuck. I don't even drink alcohol and I don't smoke cannabis. I don't I don't know. The secondhand smoke, the fumes. Somebody had a party near me and the the fumes from the alcohol intoxicated me and I just made the world's dumbest decision. You wouldn't understand how angry I get when I all of a sudden I wake up and I hear a bunch of loud noise and I hear somebody fucking slamming into my wall or banging into it or bumping into it. You realize how fucking rude that is? And I don't want to hear the excuses. Well, it was 9 a.m. Well, goddamn it, Aaron, it was only 9 a.m. You should be awake at 9 a.m., Aaron. No. No. There are professional business people that travel in hotels and they have different hours. 
Some people work graveyard shift. Some people work second shift. Some people work shift work. And they have different sleeping patterns. But overall, it's about... I'm anarchist, but you don't cause a nuisance. Yet, but these goddamn fucking Americans, they all, they're always causing you know, problems and nuisances. Why, why would you ever think it's acceptable to fucking bang into somebody's wall? And then you wake them up and you expect them not to complain or get angry? There's nothing more, that is one of my pet peeves, that is so rude and selfish of anybody. Yeah, if it's an accident, if you're moving shit and you accidentally bump the ball, excuse me, the wall once in a while, once, once a year. That, but no, this has happened like four times and this morning it happened twice. And at the second time, I was like, no, nah, I'm not putting up with this fucking shit again. So I may be moving hotels again. Because to me, my health is extremely important. Did you know that, you're, that when you don't obtain enough sleep every day, it actually can lower your immune system? Oh, yeah, study that. Sleep is very important for humans. It's important for your immune system. I've studied that. And now I have to worry about whether or not I'm going to get kicked out of this hotel for complaining. There's that too. Actually, I was reading some hotel reviews and somebody had a similar complaint. Now, I don't... Was it on... Yeah, I think it was... I'm trying to think. There was a female that asked if by you complaining about other people being noisy whether or not you risk getting kicked out of that hotel and I think she asked twice but nobody answered her so that that's yeah that's also another risk that you that you that have oh yeah these god especially these goddamn Americans are hypocrites it's it's okay for these motherfuckers to you know wake me up three or four times in three weeks and slamming into the wall right against the headboard and then, oh, but if I complain, I get kicked out. That is called victim blaming. You know, blaming the victim and victim shaming. Adios.